أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله Father, I, I can't take this on my own. I need some help. I haven't got the nerve to go through with this. Son, I can't help you. You must carry on and you must face this alone. I've gathered you all here today because I've seen God in a dream and he's shown me my own death and there's nothing I can do about it it's inevitable I need uh, just to I just brought you all here basically just to remember me how I am when you have a drink even if it's just wine or even beer just remember me when you eat together just, even a takeaway remember me just the way I am now not the way I'm gonna be don't be so morbid Within the next three days, one of you will betray me and one of you will deny even knowing me. So, Stephen, seem to find ourselves in a bit of a difficult position here, you and I. There seems to be a lot of talk going around about you lately, and the people higher in my organisation are a bit displeased by it. You have two options right now that you can do for us. You can either pick up, pack everything up that you have, leave town, never look back, take everything away with you and lead a normal life. 
or you can stay, and I'll have to do everything in my power, granted by Mr. Leibovich, the higher up than me, to make sure you never talk again. Can't change the course of events. It's gonna happen whether you like it or not. Messiah. By doing so, you've broken the three major rules of our entire organization. We can't let you continue this charade. I'm terribly sorry. Just wait here, I'm just going to go get some fags. Detective Inspector Piper. Yes, George. You just sergeant tonight. Right? Oh no, not again. It look, I tell you what, this thing with the uh, drugs in the boot of his car, that was all of a plant. It's all Leibniz is doing. It, it, it it's obvious. I'm just fed up with the whole damn show of it. I'll tell you what, George, give him a caution and let him go. Okay, George? Right. <laughs> 